What's up guys, it's DJ. Welcome to Gamma Bro Hulk Reviews. Now for your Gamma Dose of the J Giant. Today's featured Hulk item is this two-pack San Diego Comic-Con International Exclusive from Marvel Universe, The Incredible Hulk, and The Red Hulk. Review coming up next. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Today I have a quick little review for you guys. This company is Monogram. I spoke about them in the past. They have a couple of bust banks and busts that I have recently reviewed. Uh, check out my library for those if you'd like. And this one is a little Marvel Universe figurine two-pack of Hulk and Red Hulk. This was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, I think about maybe six years ago. It had a single pack of a lighter green Hulk and they never came out with a single pack of the Red Hulk. So for this two pack, you get the Red Hulk and the darker green Hulk. And I'll show you what they look like right now. So here is the two pack, guys. Here's the green Hulk and the Red Hulk. They come in this hard clamshell package. Nothing too fancy, it's just there to protect the figures. Marvel Universe exclusive two piece figurine sets. There's the monogram symbol and the San Diego Comic Con International sticker. And here they are right here. So I will open this up and give you a nice little in-depth review of each figure. Bam! Here they are out of the package for you. They both have the same pose, same bases, basically just a different paint job deco. So we will start with Red Hulk. Here he is up close and personal. He is about two inches, solid PVC plastic. It shows the Incredible Hulk on the bottom of the base, nothing on the black base. I like how they painted the nails black. I like the black pants. Has a little bit of shine to the red. Has the iconic yellow eyes. And for having the same face sculpt, did a good job at uh, showing the difference between Green Hulk and Red Hulk. They generally have very different facial structures, but for this particular figure, I think they did a good job using the same sculpt for both. When I review uh, both of these, the only difference is going to be paint. So again, just the nails, the pants, the eyes, and the hair, and the teeth. And obviously the shiny red, but a very good figure overall. Now on to the better Hulk. You can clearly see a little bit of an upgrade on the paint. Again, same general bottom base. It's all a PVC. They did a really good job in the eyes for as small of a figure as this is. They painted the mouth and the hair. They gave a nice little lighter yellowish green wash over the green. Uh, purple pants. And they gave a little bit of yellow in the feet as well. No paint on the nails. So a very different paint job overall between the two, but, and it really does show a difference between the characters, which is nice. So I think they did a pretty good job at distinguishing the difference in the, the figures. I think when you look at the faces, they actually look completely different, even though they're actually the same sculpt. The hair is done differently, painted differently, the eyes are painted differently, the mouth is painted differently, and obviously the rest of the body. Let's see, for sculpts, I'll give this an 8.1. I think for a little minifigure, I think it's decent. Uh, I like the anatomy. I do like the body structure, and the, the muscle definition for both. I think it does a good job. Nice wide back. For paint, I will give these guys... I'll actually do it separately. So Red Hulk, I think, has a better paint job. I like the, the difference in the eyes. I like that they did the nails black. Why they did the hands black and they didn't do the feet is beyond me, but hey. But I do like the little bit of wash that they gave this Hulk. Paint on the Red Hulk, I will give an 8.2. Paint on the Green Hulk, I'll actually also give that an 8.2, because I think they just have better areas in certain places than the other. For quality, I think these guys are great. You can you know bang them around, play with them. I don't see them getting damaged at all. PV this solid PVC is... You know, very, very good quality, so... And these minifigures are just great for just, you know, throwing around and not worrying about it. So I'll give the quality of this, like, a 9 for a PVC figure. So overall, we're looking at, like, 8.4, 8.5 for these guys. I think they're very cool. Highly recommend them. You have to get the Red Hulk in the 2-pack, as I said. They do have a Green Hulk that is just a solid green, similar to this. That doesn't have the wash or a little bit of differences in the paint. But overall, you can find him on the auction sites for, you know, generally cheap. Probably like five, six bucks plus shipping. Definitely worth it. 
for the box set. I don't know if you can find these guys all that much. You might be able to. I'd imagine with the Comic-Con box set, you're looking at 20 bucks plus shipping just to get the Red Hulk and the special paint on this guy. But, you know, that's it generally for these guys, and I definitely recommend them. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Please Hulk smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in next week's video. All right, so have a wonderful day, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother.